Hey guys, and welcome to another Interstellar Modeler. In this video, I'd like to give you a brief peek at a model contest. I thought this might be of interest, especially if you've never been to one. The one I intended is called Orange Con. The main event was a model contest, but there were other things to do too. So let's go ahead and take a brief look. I first arrived by 9 a.m. to set up my entries. And these consisted of the Millennium Falcon by Hasbro, the Colonial One, a Mark VII Viper, and the NX-01 Refit. The sci-fi category also included models related to real space travel, and here you can see this fantastic model of the Apollo spacecraft. And just down from our sci-fi table were models for the robotic, mech, and Gundam category. And as you can see here, eventually more entries to the sci-fi category arrived, including this beautifully decorated Fine Moles Millennium Falcon. Now the model room was open for at least a couple of hours. As you can imagine, there are many categories, and the ones that you're seeing here are of course military planes. Let's just take a second here to look at the amazing amount of detail that people put into these model kits. Now most of the entries were military related, just like the ones you see here. But there were also figures like these amazing horror model kits, and some were painted in a black and white paint scheme. Out of all of the categories, this has to be my favorite, the dioramas. You just have to see these in person to appreciate them. And there were others with different themes like this western one you see here. Here's another Gundam related one, and check out the water feature. And here's one of my favorites. This was inside a shadow box of sorts, and this is the World War II scene that you saw when you looked inside. Absolutely amazing. And this is what the room looked like after most people arrived. There were well over 400 entries. And next to the model room was a vendor room all sorts of kits and things that you could buy. And there were also raffles that were held throughout the day. Finally, the day ended with an award ceremony. And I'm happy to note that my Colonial One ship placed third in this category. And to top it off, I ended up meeting some new friends who I very much look forward to seeing at the next model contest. So in closing this video, I'd like to end with a slideshow highlighting some of the kits I didn't videotape. So hopefully I've shown you that there's a lot for a modeler to do at a model show. And I certainly encourage you to check out one if you get a chance. So as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video which should be coming soon. Take care.